Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Renting a house or buying a house? This is a topic which has been a debate for all long time and let's see is which one is the better choice in today's video. So without further delay, let's get started on it. So the first thing which has to be taken care of is your uh, financial stability. So uh, it depends on your own financial constraints like what exactly is your financial position. So if you have a stable income and if you have a good credit history or uh, if you can meet out your monthly payments without risking up your day to day living, then you can very well go for uh, buying an apartment or buying a house. That would be the ideal choice. Or if at all you have uh, a, or in a job kind of thing where it is going to be uh, your salary is going to be intermittent where it is not going to be a fixed salary every month. Say, for example, you are in a marketing where you totally rely on your incentives kind of thing. And situations like that, it's always preferable to stay in a rental apartment because you may not know whether you'll be getting up a fixed income every single month. So the incentives depends upon your um, targets and achievements. So whenever it is going to be a fixed salary or a fixed income in your account, which will be able to sustain your email payments as well as uh, a day to day living, it's advisable to go for uh, buying an option or otherwise it's better to stay always in the rented apartments. The second uh, point I would suggest you is about your uh, short term and long term goals. For example, if you are in marketing and uh, sales and you have to be a frequent traveler between cities or between states, then it is definitely not wise to buy an apartment or a house in your uh, residence. It's always preferably prefer to have a, like a, a relocating job or a relocating positions where you can change your apartments or change your house. That, that gives you the flexibility. So renting gives you the flexibility to change your locations. So if you are transferred to a point A or to a point B, you can very well relocate because you are in your rental apartments. Considering that uh, you plan to stay in a place for over uh, years, at least like five to 10 years, then it would be advisable to go for buying an apartment or buying a house. So that is again going to be a better investment choice. So that also depends upon your investment goals or in your uh, plannings, whether if it is a long term or if it's a short term plans. Then again, uh, the buying an apartment is again going to be with a uh, con where uh, we have to pay your pure maintenance cost because this house is going to be your own. You need to take care of everything, whatever happens in the house, there are repair works, whatever it is, the maintenance of it, the paintings, renovations, all of these has to be taken care by you. Whereas on a rental apartment, this is all taken care by the landlords, the house owners. They normally take care of all the additional costs or if there's a problem with your sewerage, if the problem is in your plumbing, all these are to be taken care by the uh, owner of the building. So if it's your uh, rented apartment, the landlord will take care of it. Whereas if it's going to be your own building, then it's your uh, discretion whether you have to like take up those additional costs. So that will automatically become an overhead cost to you. So whenever you're buying a house, always keep in mind about the forthcoming uh, maintenance cost as well. Then uh, there's an advantage of buying a house as well, where uh, according to the uh, Indian uh, Income Tax Act, you have a section 80, ATC as well as section 24, where you can uh, have rebate on your uh, interest paid, your principal as well as your interest paid. So that's tax implication wise, buying a house is going to be definitely good because your uh, uh, ATC will take care of your uh, payments, whatever payments you are paying as your um, interest that will be automatically deducted from your uh, income tax. Then again, uh, buying an apartment is again a good choice when if it is coming to a market inflation. Say for example, a community or a neighborhood is like just developing or if it is like shooting up in the market surprise, you can very well acquire and buy them at a very cheaper price because that is prone to get increased. Say for example, a bus terminus is going to be like uh, starting up or if it's a metro station going to start up in your nearby neighborhood. So you can very well uh, buy positions and keep them at a lower price. As the price increases, you can very well sell that off and then you can reap the benefits or the profits out profit. So always keep a watch on your uh, market. Also, if you're uh, buying these apartments, you can very well give it for rentals as well. That's going to be again a good choice for you. So the future value appreciation is something which you need to take care of because uh, areas normally depend upon your um, availability or your reachability with the city. So if you are buying in the outskirts of the city where you are living in, always make sure that there are enough uh, modes of communication or transportation between these two places so that the price increase or the appreciation automatically happens over a course of time. So as a conclusion, I would say that like uh, there are both pros and cons on all of it. So if you have the down payment, if at all you want to buy an apartment, the first thing you need to take care of is your down payment. For example, you are buying an apartment or a house worth 1 crore, 
then you need to pay at least 25% of it as your down payment, which is about 25 lakhs. So you need that amount. Then again, that's going to be taken care from your savings. So your savings is going to be wiped off completely. After that, there's going to be a registration cost as well. So the place where I'm living in, there's almost 11% as your uh, registration cost. So that again comes to 11 lakh at most. So again, I need to take out 36 lakh initially as an investment from my pocket. So that savings is going to be completely exhausted. The rest 75 lakhs is going to be taken as a home loan from a bank where an EMI will be calculated about 8.2% uh, or 9% depending upon my civil score. So that's going to be debited every month from my account. So the down payment is something which you need to take care of. So do not think about buying a home unless and until you have a down payment in hand. That's the first thing. Then about the recurring cost. The recurring cost is nothing but uh, buying an apartment is going to be uh, your monthly EMIs. So that has to be taken care of. Then the maintenance of it, as I said earlier, there's going to be maintenance costs involved in it. Further, there's going to be like property tax and appreciation. There's going to be governmental tax, which are going to be happening on your pro property. So every year you'll be paying on that as well. And about your house renovations as well, once in three years or once in five years, you're planning to have like a, a complete whitewash of your home or you wanted to replenish with your tiles and marbles. So all those are going to be uh, increasing as an additional recurring cost of your uh, uh, villa or your apartment. Then uh, long term investment wise this is going to be definitely good if you are buying them at a cheaper price if you are acquiring this property at a cheaper, cheaper price then there is definitely going to be a better ROI when it compared to that. So but uh, buying an apartment definitely needs about your uh, down payment as well as your recurring cost. Then uh, having this factor said uh, there are advantages of renting an apartment as well. If your job requires you to travel frequently between places then renting an apartment is the ideal choice and if you don't have the down payment you can very well be in a rental apartments. And uh, if at all uh, you wanted to like uh, have that feeling of um, comfort or like being in a community with a group of people, then uh, having or staying in an apartment is going to be definitely good because you live with a community of over 100 or 150 families where you will be like, uh, in fact, your children would feel really comfortable to grow up in communities. So that would be one of the best choice. There is a safety as well as security in an uh, uh, apartment or in a community in a rented apartments. But when buying, there's again going to be a peace of mind. You feel that comfort in you that this is your own property. You are living in your own property. So that uh, permanence and that mindset is something which can't be acquired in a rental apartment. However, as a point or as I would say that like uh, it, it, it is an emotional thing. Like it is about one's own emotional choice. It uh, all depends upon your financial situations, your financial budgeting and constraints along with your uh, mode of work like whether you are a frequent traveler or you need some kind of a safety and security at a place. So both has their own pros and cons. If at all you ask me for my suggestion then I would say that uh, if you are in your mid 20s or late 20s then it's definitely not an age to buy a house. Again I repeat this is not a financial advice this is my own way of perception. So you can you may have a different idea or ideology. If you have some please do leave your comments there. But what I would say is like in the 20s, try experimenting or try finding out ways to multiply your money, try compounding them. And it's uh, the mid 40s or the late 40s or the ages for you to buy an apartment or a house because the money which you are going to spend on buying this apartment or a house, the down payment, as we saw in our example, almost about 36 lakhs. This 36 lakhs, if you are going to save it as an SIP for a over of, uh, I would say like three years, 50,000 every year every month so that's going to be like almost uh, uh, 6 lakhs then 36 lakhs is going to be 6 years 6 years if I'm going to pay almost uh, 36 lakhs as my uh, SAP amount in a period of uh, 20 years this uh, 36 lakhs is definitely going to cross over 1 crore to 1.2 crores so that will be a very good amount for you to buy your own property with cash rather than going with a apart in a loan with another bank so that's going to be giving you a better ROI but if you are getting something at a very cheaper price then it is always advisable to buy them at a cheaper price but the market is so clutch like with inflation that every property price are almost like doubled up nothing is there available in the market even a 800 square feet property comes about 50 lakhs so it's always advisable uh, to be in a rented apartment when you're in your uh, mid ages and then like plan for your own uh, living when it comes to your uh, 40s and late 40s so that's been it that's my comment on this if you have a different opinion do leave your comments on the uh, chat box below and I'll catch you up in the next video. If you like this video, do share it with your friend and uh, smack that like button as well. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.